Hi there, we're off on another adventure today in our Taste of Asia series. Where are we going today? It's a country called Mongolia. Have you heard of Mongolia? Do you know where it is? Let's have a look and see if we can find it on my globe. Well, here's Great Britain where we live. And then if you travel around across Europe and through Asia, you come to Mongolia. Okay, that's where it is. There's China is underneath it. And then of course this bit's India, if you can see here. So there's Mongolia. Perhaps you can have a look on your map and see if you can find it. As we start to think about Mongolia and what God's doing there, let's pray together. Lord, thank you that we can talk to you in prayer and that you answer our prayers. Please help us to enjoy speaking to you and asking for your help. Amen. Our Bible reading is from a book in the Bible called Philippians. It's called that because it is Paul's letter to the people who lived in Philippi. They were the Philippian people. And Paul says, I thank God every time I remember you. And I always pray for all of you with joy. How do you think the church that Paul was writing to felt when they heard he was praying for them? I think they would have been really happy. Perhaps they felt quite encouraged. It's really great when you know a good friend is praying for you and praying that God will help you. Have a little think over the next while about how you can pray for people that you know and also how you can pray for people that you don't know. You might like to talk around in your homes about how you can do that. In 1990, there were fewer than 10 Christians in Mongolia. Today, Buddhism is still the main religion, but there are around 41,000 Christians. Hello there. Our names are Tim and Anna. And today, Tim is going to read a story from this book. It's a story about a man called Batar and he lives in a country called Mongolia. Let me tell you about a man called Batar. Batar lives in Mongolia in a small round tent called a yurt. He moves around to find grass for his goats and yaks. Batar loves Jesus, but there's no church nearby for him to go and meet other Christians. A missionary called Kirk had introduced Batar to Jesus. Kirk wanted to continue encouraging Batar, so he went to visit him. It was a hard journey. Kirk drove for a thousand miles on dirt tracks, climbed up a very high mountain and stopped at loads of yurts in order to look for Batar. At last, Kirk found some herders who knew Batar these herders said Batar would be back soon. While he waited, Kirk told them about Jesus for the very first time. When Batar arrived on his horse, he was so happy to hear that Kirk had been telling all the herders about Jesus. Kirk went on a long journey to see Batar, but you can encourage people like Batar without leaving your house. Your prayers can help people too just like Paul's did in our Bible reading today. Let's pray together now. Father, please encourage Christians like Batar, who are the only believer in their area. Help them also share Jesus with other herders. Then they won't be on their own following him. Amen. Amen. Bye for Bye. now. Nice to see you today. 
that's just a little bit of a think about Mongolia and the people that live there and the work that God's doing there. If you'd like to find out more, I'm sending some extra links to your homes that you can have a look on the internet. And I'm trying, it's going to send an, a recipe as well of some tasty food that Mongolian people like to eat. And maybe you can try making it. <laughs>